So my name is William. I'm from Virginia. Um, so my my question is a little uh, a little more complicated, right? So my I need some advice, I guess. Um, I'm in my early 30s. I had a mother who was borderline personality disorder, and my game is fun, but I am completely unable to let uh, women into my life. As soon as the connection formed, I just severed it ahead. Um, I've been in and out of counseling for this for years, and I'm sort of stuck. I kind of wish uh, Dr. Sean Smith was here, but anyway, thanks. Okay. Um, I think we could probably pass this off to Rolo. It sounds like he's going through a psychological thing. It looks like, yeah, it sounds, it's, like it's, that sounds, red pill rage to me. Yeah, that a lot of guys get into that or they don't they don't really cross the abyss. Like they don't they'll get to a point and I, I understand this too. I yeah, and I I, I honestly I, we should probably have uh, Dr. Sean Smith on again for for stuff like this, but I actually mentioned uh, uh, sent him a message a couple of days ago. Maybe we'll do an episode. Yeah, of we should get him. We should get him on uh, for, for you know, this actually wouldn't be too bad of uh, a topic to make a whole show about, but what I'm what I'm just going to say is that there's a lot of guys who get stuck. Um, they if there is a black pill, the black pill is when guys kind of don't want to cross that abyss or they don't and they do so because they don't really trust the end result. Like they've been burned so much that they uh, they don't want to go across. They don't want to learn game. They just want to sort of just hole up and go monk mode, like permanently go monk mode. And uh, I th I think it's, you know, I, I understand that in, in some respect. But then the other respect is like, what are you going to do? Are you going to live in a plastic bubble? Are you going to, are you not going to go out there? And I think really you kind of owe it to yourself um, to... I mean, I'm not saying don't protect yourself, protect yourself. Yes. But I think you owe it to yourself to put yourself out there and to, you know, want, want to live a better life, to want to, to want to include women in your life, to want, you know, include success in your life, include other things in your life that you want. I think that's one of the things that guys really don't understand when, especially when it comes to red pill awareness is like when you have this understanding it, a lot of guys get really depressed because all of that blue pill, conditioning that they had for most of their lives uh they 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 realize that that the goals and the hopes that the the blue pill taught them uh are, are just basically pipe dreams or the bullshit there's like you know they're disney dreams of soulmates and shit like that and then suddenly you get the red pill that comes in there and says you know what guess what guys uh there ain't no you know soulmates there ain't no you know one you know one itis is is on you and the ideals and everything that you've been thinking about um well here's the truth about that and it doesn't have to be a downer it doesn't have to be depressing and it doesn't have to be nihilistic it's just that you have to find ways to use uh, to creatively Goldman, uh, build a new life for yourself based on like real terms, based on the, the reality that the red pill has shown you so that you're not living a lie so that you're not getting trapped up. in what, what I was just talking about, like these guys who get to be 30 years old and suddenly they, they, they become, you know, uh, women's most wanted, uh, you know, guy. Well, they don't realize the reason for that is because they represent, you know, that long-term, uh, prospect. They don't really, you know, we always say women don't want or they don't, don't care about who you are. They care about what you are. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of a depressing thing, particularly for guys who have thought for a very, very long time that that the blue pill, uh, blue pill idealism is something that, you know, something that they, they want to build a life around. And now you're telling, it's almost like getting zeroed out. We've talked about getting zeroed out here before. It's like when, when you uh, become red pill aware, you're going to zero out your old blue pill self. And some guys have have depression about that. Some guys get so nihilistic that they just want to, you know, go live in a shack in the woods somewhere. Yeah. yeah um, I don't have much to add to that because Rolly, you just covered it all aside from just acceptance. You just have to accept things are the way that they are. Well, and, and accept, the, ex it, right? accept the fact that there's more, there's more potential and there's, there's, there's more, uh, there's more good stuff that can come from you being red pill aware than sticking your head back in the sand and becoming this, you know, purple pill kind of guy who only wants to take what he accepts and what's comfortable with about the red pill. And then, add, and then trying to uh, achieve his blue pill dreams and goals with red pill awareness. You will never do that. In fact, you, that's a recipe for exactly where this guy is right now. So if you become yeah. red pill aware and you go, Oh, I can use all this red pill knowledge so I can, uh, you know, get my soulmate. It ain't going to happen. One of the things that um, Sean and I talked about, and I'm really going to try to get him to do this 
episode now because I think it's 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 uh, paramount. Um, you know, when your site when your safe world theory collapses, so your your belief like Rollo's talking about, like your blue pill conditioning, you know that 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 Disney esque you know sort of thing. Um, when that safe world theory collapses, you kind of have to create a new belief system. And if it, it, you know, if you've taken the red pill and you're ready to accept it for what it is, then you can build that new belief system and, and operate in that reality. But it's like, um, you know, it's like you're, you've got your legs stretched across the chasm where you have, and you can't see, but you got one leg on one side and the other leg on the other side, but you really haven't transitioned. It's fucking exhausting standing like this for a long period of time, right? Like you've got to figure out how to accept and adapt and move forward. But I'll leave it at that. I know we have a bunch of callers on the line still. Yeah, we do. I think, um, I think I just saw him in the chat. He says, my issue is more complicated. Like I get it. Um, we, I mean, we're not, this was probably uh, something that Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Sean Smith could probably address because it's easy to say, Hey, just accept it. Well, it sounds like he's accepted it, but here's the, the flip side. The silver lining is that girls probably can't get enough of them. A guy who cannot connect with a girl emotionally is a guy who's going to get a lot of pussy. That's for sure. 